Once you question me where you at, your motivation guy is still back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Analyst. I'm not going nowhere. I'm still going to be here rooting for you guys, cheering for you guys, because guess what? I believe in you and nothing's going to change that. So I need you to believe in yourself if you want to be the best person and the best gamer that you could be. Listen, I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to help you become the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. Speed. Okay, that's the name of the game. You know, the fastest player is usually the smartest one who can outthink their opponents before they even come up with a game plan. So let me ask you this. How do we achieve faster gameplay? Like, how do we push ourselves to the limit so we can finish fights quicker and move on to the next target? Well, let me tell you this, man. Hold on to your back bling, guys, because today we're going to teach you the secret to faster fighting in Chapter 3 meta. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. So becoming a faster fighter is an excellent goal to start working towards if you want to win more fights. You know, there are so many pros out there like Benji Fishy and Mongrel and Epic Whale, man, that can do so much in so little time. In fact, if you were to go against like some of these giants, you're going to find yourself eliminated before you even realize what's going on. You know, this is because their heads are entirely in the game. You know, they live and they breathe Fortnite, so it becomes a second nature for them. So it only just makes sense that you want to be able to play like them. And so while the ultimate goal is to become faster, it also means that you have to start playing smarter so you can figure out solutions to problems on the spot and once you come up with a good strategy man all that remains is really just putting it into action all right so let's just start off with something that you need to get used to like right off the bat that's right, man. We're talking about weapons. Fortnite is constantly evolving. And with the chapter three, like we've seen the grand majority of the weapon pool be replaced by brand new weapons with their own fire rates, you know, recoil and even special abilities. And so because of this, like it's a whole new learning curve that requires some really getting used to. Hopefully by now, guys, like you probably managed to fool around with these new items during the past two weeks. And, you know, more or less, you know what to think now. SMGs are great. The ADS rifle is fantastic. And the shotguns are complete garbage. Like, let's be real. However, hold the phone for just one bit because even the shotguns, while, you know, different from the pump everyone loves, are still somewhat viable when a player knows how to use them properly. So one tactic that has resurfaced has been the double pump playstyle that was popular back in the day. So what does this mean exactly? Well, each weapon has a different pullout time, making it easier or harder to get ready to fire back at any given moment. And so the usefulness of a shotgun is actually affected greatly by the pullout time due to the rate of fire it takes to land a hit. You know, in previous metas, you know, the pump shotgun would dominate simply because it could just line a 200 damage hit and all it required is for you to either just have the shotgun ready or just simply pull it out at the appropriate time and range. And so this season's meta is a little different. You know, with the pump gone, the striker pump has replaced it in the loot pool. This weapon, while unable to get that one hit pump, still does a good amount of damage, which when combined with the pullout time makes it quite useful when you have two in your inventory and pull the second one out right after shooting your first shot. You know, pulling out another shot shotgun in this scenario is faster than reading a second shot on your primary weapon, making it a great way of just striking twice. Meanwhile, the SMGs have become the perfect solution for laying waste to enemy builds. So due to their rapid fire and damage, the current meta is favoring plowing through builds over carefully just trying to retake a box. And so while this has not pleased some competitors, I mean, it's here to stay for now. So let's just best to adjust while the going is hot. All right, so the 7MK rifle or the ADS rifle as the community is commonly referring to it as is an excellent excellent choice of weapon, and while it may have been nerfed during the last patch, it still is excellent for its legendary accuracy and ability to land its mark through impossible peaks. Why is that? Well, due to the angle and camera position while in ADS, it just makes it just much more possible to squeeze in a hit even if a player thinks they're completely shielded by a wall or in a corner. This weapon is also great for when you're sliding and you need accurately to land your shots and really speed by. Alright, so for more great tips like these, be sure to visit ProGuys.com by clicking on the link below. There you can browse through our list of professional coaches that can help you elevate your skills and your speeds to the next level. From mechanics to landing strategies, all the information and guidance you need is right at your fingertips. Sliding while, you know, a new mechanic this season has become universally accepted as part of the meta. You know, since day one, players have been experimenting with the new action and has really come up with some pretty creative ways to use it. You know, because sliding can boost your speed when used on slopes, it has become a great way of speeding things up a bit, especially for retakes and repositioning. This is the perfect 
way to close the gap between you and your opponent and a great way of getting right into the fight no matter how far away you are. You know, retakes are an important aspect of build battling and can really determine whether or not you can really claim advantages over your opponents. And so with the high ground extremely sought after, the two of you are going to be really struggling to overtake one another. This is especially prevalent in the late game when you're going to be suspended in the air with a group of highly intense builders climbing over each other. And so once you have the high ground guys, it's actually possible to really get your builds into other people's boxes. All you need is a ramp to really slide down so you can build momentum and place your build the moment your body collides with the enemy wall. This makes it so much quicker when you want to surprise your opponent within, you know, a great intrusive build. Sometimes, you know, quick fighting also involves slowing your opponent down and sliding gives you the opportunity to really just be quick, but also sneak attacks such as that. The next tip on this list is maintaining pressure. All right, so this is more of a psychological tip since you need to have the confidence to really go through with your strategy if you want to see it work out. You know, for many new players, confidence, whew, I mean, I'm telling you right now, man, it, it might just be just one of the most important issues to really get right, especially if you're playing against competitive players for the first time. Like, you all remember the feeling, right? Like, you drop into an arena and before you even figure out where you are, like, somebody is already beaming you while building circles around you. And so this can be scary at times right and really can actually put you off from just tackling enemies but you need just to keep grinding and really just get used to fighting and especially in 1v1 and other creative modes such as the pit so if you haven't noticed like everything that you are feeling in this scenario is your opponent pushing you into your corner you need to learn to do the same thing man by building strategically and catching your opponents off guard during that attack shot you know once you've done this you need to stay determined and just keep pushing forward so your opponent has less time to recollect themselves and so if your opponent allows themselves to be shaken then you know this could really spell out a quick victory for you even if your opponent is able to fight back the amount of pressure is going to raise the stakes in any battle and while you may not be able to see it at first glance you're going to have them using everything they have to level the playing field you know one of the most important things that you can do to be a faster fighter is really as simple as just training your aim like the more shots that you land the quicker your opponent's health is going to be depleted to zero and the fight's going to be over so the thing about competitive games guys such as like fortnite is that you're almost never going to be able to completely be an opponent every single time you know some enemies might be caught off guard and you might be able to take a huge chunk of their health however you know when competitive players are involved i mean you're most likely going to face resistance as they you know just build up their walls to defend themselves against you as well as like use ramps to try to get a better vantage point over you so in many other types of fights such as build battles and box fights like the window in which you are going to be able to land a shot can be even smaller and so for this guys you're going to have to train your building mechanics on creative by just finding exercise routines like one of my favorite favorites raiders um is so good like you can really build and just edit faster and more consistently if you really put the work in like you're gonna need precision if you want to switch from editing to firing in a moment's notice like if you can perfect this transition man you're gonna have the ability to land the shot almost immediately after creating your window for peeking you know, whether this be a, a side edit or a right hand peek you're gonna need to have good reflexes so you can get to where you need to be able to land that shot all right so we've talked about key binds and paddles in some of our previous videos however it's only fair that we bring it up once more especially since it's you know gonna help players become faster than ever before right so the secret to becoming a faster player is actually moving away from the default settings and optimizing them in a way where your keys are just easier to reach if you're playing on controller this can mean like playing claw so that you never have to move your thumb from the stick in other cases it can also mean like getting paddles so you know you have extra buttons to work with you can really build and just pull out your pickaxe and jump much easier so if you compare two players you know one using the default key binds and the other using an optimized configuration you're gonna see see that the player using the optimized set will always hit their keys faster in order to perform actions much quicker. And so these extra milliseconds guys, you know, in delay can make all the difference in the world on whether you can perform a proper retake, setup, defenses, or like even swap out your equipment. And so you got to remember this, use all of your fingers and just start grinding until your muscle memory adjusts. All right. So for more on how to train with your new control schemes, don't forget to visit proguys.com. There you can find professional coaching you need to rise above the rest and claim that victory royale. But your crush saw me, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, I am your motivation guy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I really do believe in you. I really am your number one fan. I don't know what you're going through, but I want you to be encouraged during this holiday season to chase after your dreams, to keep going, to never quit, to never surrender. Man, this new year is gonna be awesome, but you gotta believe it. You gotta believe it. So keep your head up, write a vision down, you know, make goals. And I'm telling you, you just gotta take one step at a time every single day to really make that happen. If you guys like the video, make
make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you guys would be interested in learning more about. All right, man, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.